My name is Daryl One, and I'm the music director for the Victoria Symphony Orchestra. And I'm sitting here in my studio, and I've been studying this massive work, the Verdi Requiem. And this is the piece that we will be performing on April 30th at the Victoria Fine Arts Center at 8 p.m. And as I've been studying this work, I've been looking into the history of this piece and the composer, the man Verdi. You probably know Verdi by the fact that he was a great opera composer. Uh, he wrote operas like Rigoletto, for example, or the famous La Traviata. He was mostly known as an opera composer, and later on in his life he decided he'd finally written his last opera and he wanted to explore other ways to write. Uh, he wrote a string quartet, for example, and one of the things he decided to embark on was this Requiem. But there was a little bit of history for this, and let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, Verdi in, started on this very ambitious project, and what he wanted to do was to write a mass for Giacomo Rossini, the other uh, Italian operatic composer. You, you probably know him through The Barber of Seville, for example, is one of his great operas. Well, Verdi wanted to write a mass for him, but he didn't want just himself to write it. He thought it needed to be written by many Italian composers so that they could all contribute towards the uh, history of this great man. And so he brought this idea up, um, a committee was formed, and then they decided to parcel out different movements of the mass to all the different composers. And Verdi was assigned the Libera Me. And so he composed this piece, and uh, the others composed theirs as well. But it turned out that the project just uh, couldn't, go, couldn't be done. There were too many problems with it. Uh, the location was uh, a difficulty, and there were some political problems. And so it never actually was performed. And so Verdi had to shelf his Libra Ame. Well, later on, a great uh, Italian writer named Alessandro Manzoni passed away. And Verdi uh, admired this, this man. He read many of his works. He considered him a quasi-political-like figure. And he thought that when he died that there had to be tribute. And so he decided to write a mass, uh, a, a requiem mass, and that's why it's known as the Manzoni Requiem, because it was for Alessandro Manzoni. And so he decided to write it, and he remembered this Libera Me movement that he wrote for the Mass for Rossini. So he resurrected that. Now, in the Libra Ame that he wrote, uh, it's got all kinds of different music in it. And it just begins with, of course, uh, the chorus of the Libra Ame, the text of the Libra Ame. It starts out with soprano solos. There's a section of the Diaziri that follows into that. And later on, a section of the Requiem Eterna. So, three uh, distinct sections, and he combined this into the end. Well, so it, when he decided to use this movement, he thought this movement could be the reprise for the entire Mass. And so he separated out that Diazire and the Requiem and decided to take the Requiem section and place it as a prologue, a beginning, if you will. And then he took the Diazire section and he put it up to the, right after the Requiem, Eternum movement, and uh, expanded it using the uh, Latin uh, sequenza, so all the other different uh, Latin uh, sections as well, and then expanded it, wrote the Agnus Dei, the Sanctus, uh, the Lux Eterna, all the other movements, and then put the Libra Me with some changes at the very end. And so he did that and composed his Requiem. Uh, it doesn't use a very large orchestra. Uh, the only real additions to the orchestra are four offstage trumpets, but otherwise it's a very standard size orchestra of double woodwinds and brass, and even the percussion, there's only uh, timpani and then one single percussionist playing the bass drum. Uh, actually a very famous bass drum part, uh, and you will hear that uh, in the Diazire. But that was the history of the Verdi Requiem. We will be performing this piece, as I said, in the Victoria Fine Arts Center on April 30th, at 8 p.m. And we will be joined by four soloists and a 170 voice chorus. Uh, the four soloists actually come from Houston. Uh, the soprano is Linda McKnight, who's a soprano from the Houston area. Uh, also, we'll be joined by three members of the Morris School of Music, 
vocal faculty, Melanie Sonnenberg, mezzo-soprano, Joseph Evans, tenor, and Timothy Jones, bass. And some of you will remember Tim Jones because he's sung with us on a, a several occasions in the past as a soloist with the Victoria Symphony before. So some of you may recognize his name and also, of course, his singing as well. We will be joined by the combined choruses of the Morris School of Music from the University of Houston. And those courses are under the direction of Betsy Cook Weber and Kelly J. Turner. So we'll have 170 voices, this orchestra, and four soloists singing this wonderful work, the Verdi Requiem. So we hope we'll see you out there at uh, the Victoria Fine Arts Center. It's going to be a great season closer. There's drama, there's wonderful music, there's terrific solos, great chorus, tremendous orchestral uh, sections, and all of that bringing our season this year to an end. So thank you for coming to all of our concerts, and we hope to see you there for the very end.